Hey everybody, say hello to Grant. This week on How To, we will learn how to change uh, the equalizer setting on our iPhone 4S. So, the first um, thing you want to do is, is go to your settings app, which is right here. Then, you want to scroll down until you find music. Then you want to tap that, and see this EQ right here? That's what you want to tap. So, go right there. Uh, there's quite a few choices here, acoustic, bass booster, classical, etc. Et, et um, generally, um, depending on the type of music that you're playing, um, you want to adjust what preset you want to use. Unfortunately, you cannot make your own presets as of this moment of, in time. Hopefully Apple will rectify that in the future. But um, anyway, it, um, it's generally a good idea to test um, this out when you're actually playing music. But, um, generally based on the uh, type of music that you're playing, you want to choose um, different presets, but not all of these presets are entirely accurate and or sound the best with the type of music that they are implying this preset to be like. And that really didn't make a whole lot of sense, so I'm just gonna keep on talking. So anyway, <laughs> um, now that you're absolutely and utterly confused, um, I will just explain some of the best presets that I found for different types of music. So for example, like trance or techno, like Dead Mouse or Tiesto, that sort of thing. Um, generally, you want to have it on dance, or another good one is um, electronic, but the preset that I generally run with electronic music, like techno, trance, electronica, etc., um, is late it has the best uh, high range, and it just it, it just sounds better than all of the presets combined for that kind of genre of music. Otherwise, for um, classical, again, Late Night is good. Jazz is pretty good. Um, piano, I don't really know about that a whole lot. I, I haven't really tried that preset out in a while. Um, if you're lacking in the bass or in the treble, then um, you can always go treble booster or vocal booster, or you can always go with bass booster. That kind of makes it sound kind of muddy, though. So I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, for classical kind of kinds of music, so for example if you're listening to like trumpets or other types of brass or maybe strings like a cello or a violin or that sort of a thing, I would recommend classical. Or again, I would also go with late night. Late night sounds good with pretty much anything but rock, anything but a guitar, like distorted guitar. For that sort of a music style, I would highly recommend rock, uh, just because it's more balanced with all the different frequencies. And, um, yeah. So, other than that, yeah. For rap, hip-hop kind of stuff, again, Late Night is my big recommendation. Otherwise, uh, you know, dance works, um... R&B sometimes, I don't know, it, 
<laughs> Another thing that you should consider when doing this type of a thing is um, that it always depends on what you're outputting to. So, for example, if you're using the iPhone speaker, which, let's be honest, it's not a great speaker, but it's great for the application. So, it's a great phone speaker, you know. Anyway, um, phone speaker debates aside, um, it, yeah, so it basically all depends on what you're outputting your music to. So, for example, if you're in your car and you got an aux cable running through there and you got a good audio system in your car, then you're going to want to change your preset accordingly, you know. Otherwise, um, um, for, like, earbuds, you know, I had a pair of $30 Sony earbuds, you know, they were, they sounded great, you know, for the money, they sound great. You know, I got them at Walmart, they were pretty cheap, $32 out the door, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, for the money, they sounded great, and then I, um, I had decided that it was time for an upgrade, you know, to something that would last longer and with, that sounded better. So then I went and um, made the jump to a pair of Monster Gratitude headphones, which is like $200 out the door. So, you know, actually it's more like 300 but anyway. Um, yeah, so apparently there's a pretty big quality gap in between the $30 Sony's and the $300 um, monst monsters. So, um, I had to adjust my presets accordingly, you know. So what sounded good in the dance or bass um, booster presets sounded like absolute crap in the new ones. So, yeah. anyway, um, so that's pretty much it, really. You just gotta play around and see what works the best. Um, as far as acoustic goes, um, it's okay for pretty much general usage. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it for electronic music, such as, like, techno, electronica, trance, that sort of thing, dubstep. I wouldn't really recommend it for that, but uh, if you're, like, going going with uh, more um, I don't want to really say generic, but it's all I can think of right now. If you're um, going for more of, like, generic types of music, then I, re I would recommend that. So, like, for example, um, folk, um, just light rock, I don't know, that sort of thing. Anything but, like, hip-hop or rap or any kind of bass-intensive stuff. Like, you know, natural stuff, not this electronic synthesized crap that we hear every day. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Deep, I'll be honest, deep and f flat, they just sound like absolute crap. Deep, I don't know what it does, but it makes it seem like it's coming from a speaker with, like, earmuffs on it. I don't even know. It, it sounds like shit, honestly. Anyway, flat is obviously going to be dull and not really exciting. Hip-hop doesn't really sound that good, personally. Um, yeah. Loudness doesn't really do much, um, it, it makes a weird effect, it sounds, uh, it, the image it creates in my mind when I apply it is kind of like some kind of a tunnel or something, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, the top three presets I use are, actually, it's more like two presets, 
personally. Um, but I'll go with the three. The three that I generally use is Off, um, Light, and Rock. Those are like my top three. But I don't usually use Off. So it's pretty much just Late Night and Rock for me. But yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And once again, you can find uh, this under the music area, under EQ, in your music settings, under the settings app. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. Rate. Leave a like if uh, you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment and all of that. And yeah, be sure and subscribe. Alright, SG out.